Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Trotsky Robust. It's December 21st and we're, they're back. They're back. The Democrats are back. All right. They just won some elections. They won November. They won in New Jersey and Virginia. They just won in Alabama. And they're back to their old ways, meaning uh, Ralph Northam, won the, was the next governor of Virginia. Well, he campaigned saying that he would expand Medicaid, just as the former governor, Terry McAuliffe, did, because it's easy to do when you, you know, when the Republicans are controlled the legislature. But now he's backing off. Northam is back, backing off. This is the guy who voted for George W. Bush twice, and of course, what better Democrat than someone who voted for George W. Bush twice? Um, they're not going to change. Nothing is going to change, okay? He wants to compromise with the Republicans. Uh, same with Doug Jones, Alabama. First thing he's been talking about is uh, don't expect him to always vote with the Democrats. He's going to common ground, common ground. Corporate-owned Democrats are going to find common ground with corporate-owned Republicans. It's really hard to do. What could they do? What policies? You know, please, come on. Um, you know, and he's, of course, from Alabama, meaning he's a centrist or moderate Democrat. Whenever you hear those words, it means corporate. He's He has an excuse to be corporate. They're all corporate, but at least coming from a red state, a poor state, he has an excuse to go fuck over poor people and, and vote with the corporations. It makes no sense, but no one's going to call him on it. The media's not going to call him on it. Being corporatist in a poor, poor state like Alabama is just counter product into, I don't know. Anyhow, forget it. Um, some have said, why is he doing it? It's, he's going to lose, right? You want to represent the people in Alabama, give them things they need, like Medicare for all. Uh, why just be another corporate Democrat who's going to be out in 2020? Well, he could do that, but he figures he's probably going to be out either way. So the reason um, people think that, you know, if they would just be real Democrats, you know, work for the working people instead of for the corporation that they can get reelected. They don't think that way. They think he's, one, he, did, he never expected to be senator. No one expected him to be senator in Alabama. He's just a lifelong party hack. And now, you know, I mean, he was a lawyer, yes. He prosecuted those who killed the, uh, the four girls in the church bombing. And uh, yeah, a few decades later, and now he's a hero. These are our heroes. That's the best we can do. Not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I mean, come on. That's the best hero we can have. Someone who 30, 40 years after the fact prosecutes them. Um, the reason they do this, the reason he's not going to represent the people of Alabama, the working people, the reason he's going to be a corporate Democrat, which is the same as the corporate Republican, is because after he's done, he's going to get a job as either a lobbyist or a job in business, they and they're going to expect something from him now. They're going to expect him to do their bidding now that he's in the Senate. Why else? Why else would he be in the Senate to represent the people? Please, this is this is the reason why the Democrats are never going to change. Okay, they have a job waiting for them. Uh, best example: Barney Frank, who screwed us over with the uh, Dodd Frank. He's now making speeches on Wall Street and getting paid, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know if hundreds of thousands, but he's making a nice living on speeches. And that's just their way, uh, you know, that's to them, that's chump change, $100,000 on Wall Street. But, you know, they're going to reward him for working for them and against us. Uh, and that's why they do it. Um, there is no future with the Democratic Party. We just have to come to that realization that I don't care. You know, they're, they're never going to nominate real Democrats. They're always going to nominate the corporatists. You know, they'll nominate real Democrats in areas where the Democrats don't have, they don't think have a chance in hell, like in Kansas or somewhere like that. Uh, I wish they would have done it here. They didn't. Had they, had they nominated a real Democrat in Alabama, I guarantee you, None of that information would have come out about um, Roy Moore. Okay, it would not have come out if they, if the alternative to Roy Moore was a real progressive, someone who's going to actually do the bidding of the people and not the corporations. It wouldn't have happened. Roy Moore would have won, and um, you know, but that's how it is. Um, and now I'm going to give you some get off topic a bit uh, to change the topic. 
So sit down. This is going to shock you. You're going to get shocked. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was voted one of the most ethically challenged in Congress. What a shock. What a shock. Uh, this is for the IT scandal, you know, some of her aides were working on. Um, the, you know, please. <laughs> this is something that you expect. I mean, you know, you expect it. It's like Trump saying, hey, you know, I grabbed a woman's pussy, but I still got elected, so therefore it's okay. The same, I guess the same would go to the, for Denver e. Wasserman Schultz. But there's another scandal with her uh, in Broward County. That's the county. Remember, they had a Bernie crat. I forget his name. Um, he, he, he's, he was going to run against her again in 2018. But uh, ballots, ballots uh, are not supposed to be destroyed for 22 months. They were destroyed after 13 months. All right? Um, they claimed that Copies were made and therefore it's okay, but then and they were put online. But then again, those can be hacked. Um, this is very suspicious to me, uh, not just in this one particular case, but in um, just many cases. Do we really know how election machines function? Uh, whether they give us an accurate result? Whether do we know? We know we don't really live in a democracy because it's one all one. Um, it's oligarchy, you know, all these candidates, Democrats or Republicans, are going to um, work for those who finance their campaign. But even here, and especially with primaries, do we know the, how the ballot box is out, if it's fixed or not? I mean, remember about a year ago when the Green Party, when they challenged the results. Now, they didn't challenge the results because of love for Hillary. They that's not the reason. The reason is because there's a real that was they did it after the election so they could raise money, but there's a real question whether ballot boxes are real or not. We don't know. You don't know when you vote. Does that vote get counted? I mean, how do you know? And who's what's the checks and balance? Republicans and Democrats. That's it. Those are the checks and balances. You know, uh, they're they're on the, they're the same party. It's not you know. So I don't know. It's very suspicious. The corporate media is all over this. Not, they're not, they don't care. They're never going to talk about this. They're going to talk about Russia, but the real scandals they'll avoid all the time. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. Happy whatever. Um, uh, I don't know. This is a fucked up situation. Uh, maybe we can wonder what's going to happen here, whether we can beat the, um, the Democrats. But we have to change. We. I'm trying to get out of here now. Okay. Um, we have to figure something out. Uh, the revolution is not going well. It's The people are behind it, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as long as we keep voting Democrat, I mean, it's just going to go back and forth. People hate Trump, so the Democrats will get back in. They'll do nothing. They're not going to undo the tax cuts that Trump has now passed. They'll undo a little bit, but not just enough so they can pretend they did, but they're not really going to do much. All right, uh, that's it. Tell me what you think. Trotsky out. <laughs>